I'm your I'm Lindsay, I'm Baroness I'm a teacher, and, and I'm an anti-bullying ambassador. Hey, we're Fresh Ray! And we've come to St Andrews College in Dublin. To check out what these anti-bullying ambassadors have been up to. Let's take a look. So last March we um, decided to host uh, an anti-bullying ambassadors training day where some of our own students um, as well as students from some neighbouring schools and students from some of our feeder primary schools were trained to be anti-bullying ambassadors. I think the anti-bullying ambassador training day was very useful. It's not only given us skills to prevent bullying but also life skills. It's great to be part of the anti-bullying programme to help them to you know talk to the students that they're able to take responsibility for their interactions, they're able to take responsibility for their behaviour, but that we see our role as supporting. That it's really important that we support and we, we equip them, and we're very thankful for the Anti-Bullying uh, Ambassadors and Diana Award for helping to train our young people. There was a buzz in the place, feeling empowered. And one of my great, great beliefs is that everything we do in school is not for while they're there, it is, of course, but it's also to equip them for life. And one of the most important principles is that this concept of decency, integrity, honesty and civility. You know, in other words, the way we treat other people is a great indicator of what we are. Welcome to Friendship Day! Friendship Day! Friendship Day in the school is pretty much just a day for everyone to sort of relax and have fun with their friends and kind of get to know other people in the year through like icebreaker games. It was, a, it was a first event of its kind in the school and just the, the, just the great buzz and the excitement in the school and the great, I suppose, just a sense of positivity in the school and people smiling and people being, being happy to each other. This is a happy school, but we really sort of ramped it up a level that day. One of the major things is the bonding, using icebreakers, using the tools, because, you know, I think they have amazing communication skills, but it's, it's one of the slogans it's okay not to be okay. We had fresh air before me, it was just nice and relaxed, and we raised the flag just to just have the atmosphere in the school, just to bring everyone closer together. Friends of day. designed, first of all, a symbol for, for our Friendship Day, which was um, a series of intertwined hairs. And the idea was to show that individually, each one of these strands is weak, but together they're very strong, and together with our friends, we're strong. So we designed a Friendship Flag. Friendship Day! And really, it was a really positive day. It was a great vibe in the school, and it was a really positive to, uh, I suppose, to reinforce the importance of friends and the importance that people look out for each other and that we show respect for, for others. Today the anti-bullying ambassadors are doing an e-safety workshop with first years. This workshop is all about how to teach the first years about their online identity and how to protect their passwords and privacy settings online. Okay guys, these are your toothbrushes. You can brush your teeth with them, you, you use them for ages, they're your toothbrushes. Okay now take a toothbrush out of your mouth and then swap them with the person beside them and use theirs. Go on. Use their toothbrush. So today I learned sharing your uh, personal information is like sharing a toothbrush, you just don't do it. So it's very important to have um, effective programs in a school to highlight how to use the internet responsibly. Students in this school are very good, you know, they respect each other in the corridor and we wanted to get, get across to them that they respect each other physically in their physical space in, in the school environment, they need to respect each other online as well. Who would you go to if you had a problem? Um, uh, uh, anti-bullying ambassadors, one of the anti-bullying ambassadors. An anti-bullying ambassador. Anti-bullying ambassadors. Anti-bullying ambassadors. I don't know if it's just me, but I enjoy the responsibility that's given to me as an anti-bullying ambassador to make others feel good because people don't tend to experience the whole how should I feel or how do I feel in this certain situation. I just, our aim is just to like make them feel good about themselves, have nothing to worry about or not, not to care but like just to feel good about yourself, there's nothing wrong with a bit of happiness, you know. They like that I'm an anti-bullying ambassador, my friends think it's good and um, they're definitely comfortable coming up to me and asking me for advice if something's happening with them and people have come up to me and talked about bullying that happens in school, so I think it's a really good thing. I, I do think every school should have the anti-bullying ambassadors because it's a big help if someone needs to talk or let out their feelings or emotions that they don't bottle it up because when you bottle it up 
you can suffer with things like depression, stuff like that, and it's not going to go down well. I applied to be an anti-bullying ambassador because I have had past experiences of bullying, and uh, I remember those experiences and how I felt, and I felt that I didn't want anybody else to feel like I did. Because mostly the only problem that people have is being alone in a situation or not want to be the only one. So if you know that you're not the only one standing up against it, or you're not the only one suffering from it, you get more confident that you're able to attack it. I think people are much more open about bullying now, and they're. Um, more confident in speaking up if it's happening to them or if they see it happening to someone else. One of the things we would have found in the past would be that students who are vulnerable or students who are isolated, they tend to spend a lot of time at their lockers, maybe away from their peer group. So the mentoring program um, it was very, very important for the mentors, the fifth year mentors who are linked with their first year mentees, that their lockers are in the same area because outside class time students spend a lot of time at their lockers going over and back, getting their books, getting their lunch, etc. My locker is just there at uh, Kansas beside me. Uh, so near every morning I get to see him and if I have anything to ask him, I can ask him. We've had a great day. We met some very kind and lovely anti-bullying ambassadors. And they're doing a great job.